Hey, Richard here. You know, I'm uh, with the blog Facts Working People. I'm making a different sort of video here. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm in a bit of a rush. But I wanted to make a few comments about the developments around the student struggles, the heroic student struggles that should be supported by all workers. And they've come in against them now viciously. They've, they've uh, sent the security force, forces in. They've cleared out the encampments. They've beaten them. They've, they've fired uh, 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 crash, flash grenades and so forth at them. And uh, you see uh, Genocide Joe on TV, uh, who I used to call Worker Joe before he got into the butchering and genocide more openly business that was forced to by events by the Palestinian struggle. He's talking on TV about, uh, uh, um, uh, about the, how pr peaceful protests are good. The great American democracy is different than Putin's Russia, for example, as we allow peaceful protests. Peaceful protests are okay. And what he means by peaceful protests are protests that accomplish nothing. Then they, they will accomplish enough. Maybe a candlelight vigil will all just hold a candlelight up and, and pray. That will be like Sweeney did at the great in Seattle, Battle of Seattle when the, the youth were on the, on the, on the, in the battlefield. And so for, for him it's a peaceful protest is one that accomplishes nothing. Leave it to us. He's told the Palestinians and the US ruling class have told Palestinians for decades, leave it to us. We'll, 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 we're working in your behalf. So. That's what they. That's what they're doing now to these students, and what's important to uh, um, to to realise about that is what is against the law. What's against the law is trespassing, preventing students from going to classes, sh uh, shutting down campuses, and so forth. All of that is going is it apparently against the law, and what he, if you remember what he did last year with the railroad brokers, they went. They got legislation to prevent Biden and Pelosi and all of the gang in the House of Cong House of, in the U.S. Congress agreed with them. They 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 introduced legislation to shut down the rail strike, a potential rail strike that was a legal strike, because he says, well, it would. What did he say? He said, uh, 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 you know, they they imposed a settlement by that legislation on the workers, that, one they'd already rejected. A strike would hurt millions of workers and their families, he says. Workers and our families have benefited from strikes Over, historically. Historically, it's not the people on strike that, that benefit. It's the generations that follow. I had a good job because people went on strike, because they walked off the job. When the people at my workplace walked off the job for a union, it was illegal. Just read some labor history and see how brutal the U.S. ruling classes in this country. They shot workers for trying to organize unions. They deported workers for doing that. Um, and the other thing is, the other big danger, this conflating of Zionism and Judaism. Uh, um, one uh, uh, Democratic senator, Democratic politician from New York, he's, I think he might have something to do with that new anti-Semitism act, you know, condemns violence that have been on the campuses. Biden spoke of it, all the violence on the campuses. Well, the funny, funny thing is, there hasn't been violence on the campuses. Campuses they're very, very peaceful. We saw some violence the other night from right-wing Zionists uh, smashing up stuff. These people are thugs. They're fascists. Zionism is not a, uh, a, a, a an inclusive political system. It's a violent, a racist system. And so he's condemning that. And, and the, they, they, they were saying, um, well, there were signs on there: Zionists not welcome. What's wrong with that? We wouldn't say not. We'd say Nazis not welcome, wouldn't we? We'd say fascists not welcome. So they equate that with meaning Jews. So, so that that's a trick. It's a trick. Millions of Jews are not Zionists. The movement in this country, in this, among the students, the Jews are playing. Young Jews are playing an incredible role in it. Thank you to them. Thank you to them. You know. And Biden's up there doing it. I don't know what's going to happen in this election, this coming election. Things have changed. The world has changed. The U.S. and Israel stand alone here. The U.S. can blow everybody to bits. That's the big, it's the guy with the big stick. But the world has changed. And this election, I don't know. But I know this. I wouldn't vote for Biden. You know, there's lots of things you can do if you want to vote. We've never won much from voting anyway, as I've said before. But there's lots of things you can do. Lots of, you could vote green. I might vote green. I don't know. But the more important thing to remember is that what we've won... As I said in a, vote, a, a, a video the other day, we've won through struggle on the ground. I'll repeat it. The sick leave, the unemployment insurance, the stuff that we have that was won in the 30s, it was already taken on the ground. That was a concession to the movement in the workplaces 
and the streets of America. You know? So this election, you don't have to elect this vicious genocidal character. As for Trump, the sexual, sexual abuser, we're, this is the mess we're in. But what, what's more important, I remember when I got my local union to not support any Democrats for about four years. That's traditional in this country where the Democrats are supported by the Labour movement. They're actually supported by the Labour leadership. That's their, they're the agents of the Democratic Party uh, in the trade union movement. And, I, and people were afraid, oh, we won't get this and this. And we got one member on the board who's a liberal who's in support of others. Didn't hurt us. The more we were organised, the more conscious we were of what we wanted. And at the time, we wanted our own party, the Labour Party, we campaigned for. The, the, we'll get just as much. Don't get into that trap of, oh, we've got to vote for Biden. We've got to vote for him. Trump could, Trump could be worse or will be worse. Not necessarily. It depends how the class responds to this. Okay? I hope some of that makes sense. I just felt I had to say it. I don't have time to write. Uh, it's Richard Mellor, you know, and the blog is Facts for Working People. All right, thanks.